Good Sunday morning. It's July 5th. Fairly mild start to the day. Now, yesterday afternoon on Saturday, Montrose did get dark clouds, did get some light measurable rain. Today, we should not get that measurable rain, though we could see some of those darker clouds. The focus for storm activity this afternoon will be in the high country today. Not so much the mesas and the plateaus to our west and southwest, but the central divide region. Temperature wise, we're going to go hotter in many locations. Mid 90s for Grand Junction, low 90s at Montrose. And if this is not hot enough for you, Monday and Tuesday, no records, but we are really going to crank things up. Grand Junction could see 100 degree readings for Monday, and then we're going to go windier into next week. I'll talk all about that in the several coming days. Yes, ma'am. I am. On this rainfall scale, you could see the green colors. Those are some of the heavier downpours, and that did occur today over the divide, the higher elevations. But also what did occur today is we had storms generating out of the San Juans early this morning. As, as early as 1030 AM, we saw some of those dark clouds riding out of the San Juans up along the Uncompahgre Plateau, drifting over Montrose County. Light rain fell. A trace fell on Friday. Almost a nickel's worth fell this afternoon. Gusty winds both afternoons, Friday and Saturday for Montrose. Not so gusty around Grand Junction, uh, but with some of these storms, as they drift, and they did drift east, northeasterly in direction, slow. Once they got off the higher elevations, they kind of cut themselves off. So not a whole lot of rain for everybody. This is really, you know, we're going to do this again on Sunday, possibly even Monday, but the focus should be the higher elevations. Into the high country, you go. Uh, just know that lightning is going to be one of those hazards. Also, brief heavy downpours and the gusty winds, the outflow winds from those storms. So that's where we expect another round of weather. But tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, we could see those storm clouds developing again. I just don't expect to get any measurable rain as light as we saw today in very few areas. I don't expect we'll get measurable rain. What I do expect is the dry conditions to continue. You don't need a 25 mile per hour sustained wind speed. That's the criteria for a red flag warning. You don't need that. Any wind will do for an ignition source, so please be very careful. It's likely we will revisit red flag warnings or we should see an issuance of those around Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And that'll coincide with some of our hottest days and our windiest days as well. I'm going to get out of the picture. I want you to see your over overnight lows into Sunday morning, mild. These are about where we should be, a couple degrees plus or minus. That's about where we should be, but we're going to clear and quiet during the overnight hours. By the way, right after this broadcast at 1030, uh, we're going to see um, that partial lunar eclipse. You won't see much of it. Uh, the moon basically goes into the shadow of the earth opposite of the sun, so you'll just see a slight color discoloration, but it's a full moon. Uh, it's going to be enjoyable. You'll be able to see Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. So fantastic conditions outside tonight. Quiet. Getting into the afternoon hours of Sunday, we turn the temperatures up just a bit. And it's all because of our high pressure system overhead. It's going to allow that storm activity to continue in the mountain zones, but it's not a direct impact on our area. I'd like to see a better storm opportunity. We won't get that until late next week. Take a look at the start of this upcoming work week for Grand Junction. 100 degree readings, near 100 degree readings. That's hotter than we should be. They're not records. Records exist at 104, 103. But Sunday we start getting hotter. Monday for the start of the week, we go the hottest of the week. We could compete with Tuesday, but Tuesday is going to have stronger winds for all areas. And Tuesday could be the beginning of our red flag warning area. And that's strong winds, not because of a storm system advancing in with a cold front. Strong winds on the backside of a high pressure system working our region. So for Montrose, basically, while we're supposed to be in the low 90s this time of the year, we'll achieve that on Sunday. We didn't today, uh, but we have a run of hot temperatures next week, so be prepared for that. And just to watch the winds for the midweek period and the storm system on arrival next week. So that is everything we need, correct? Okay. Thank you.